Imagine delegating your complex research tasks to an AI that autonomously navigates the web, compiles comprehensive reports, and provides you with detailed insights with minimal effort on your part. Welcome to the future of research with this Gemini Deep Research feature. Hi, I'm Jamie, and welcome to Teachers Tech. Google's Gemini 2.0 introduces several groundbreaking features autonomous AI agents, enhanced personal assistance, and integration with Google services. In this video, I'll focus on the deep research feature, which allows users to delegate complex research tasks to the AI. Gemini collects and analyzes the web data, providing comprehensive reports with citations, thereby streamlining the whole research process. For research, I've been using Perplexity for a while, but this feature in Gemini is a game changer. As I'm showing you this deep research feature in Gemini today, I'm gonna to show you two different prompts. I'm gonna give you a simple prompt and it's gonna do a pretty good report, but then I'm gonna make a more detailed prompt about exactly what I want to get as a research paper. And you're gonna see that makes a difference. Let's get started. I'm already logged in to my Gemini Advanced, and if I do the drop down up top, you can see where there's the different models. I'm gonna do a different video about the 2.0 Flash Air Experimental, but for this one, we're gonna do the Pro with Deep Research, and I'm gonna give you a couple examples. So when I choose this, all I have to do is give it a prompt. The first prompt I give is gonna be a simple prompt, and then I'm gonna do it again with a more complex prompt, showing you the difference uh, in the prompting style. So we're gonna just ask it to to uh, provide an overview of the impact of remote work on employment productivity. I'm gonna go and submit this. Now this shows you the steps that it will go through. You could see where it says research websites. If I just expand this, uh, you could get an idea of what's gonna happen, analyze the results, create the report. If I wanted to edit this, I could click this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click start research. And this takes a few moments. The report is finished now. You can see if I kind of go through, it shows me at any point, if I just do the learn more, it shows me where the information is coming from. It is cited as I go through down. Uh, you can see this is a longer report too as well. And I'll scroll down all the way to the bottom to the conclusion showing uh, the different uh, sources here. But it went through 32 websites to find the information for this. And I can push this right out to this into docs. So I'm gonna go and click on open in docs and you'll see at the bottom left-hand corner, it's creating the document. I'm gonna go ahead and open in docs. And then you have it right, you'll have it right in your Google Drive now where you can work on it from there. And if you do have Gemini inside your Google workspace, you can go and make changes to this using Gemini to rewrite or to summarize different parts. What I like is if I scroll all the way down, all the work cited is right in this document. But now I wanna show you what happens if I give the prompt a little bit more detail telling it exactly what I want. I'm gonna go and create a new chat to do this next one, and I'm still under the pro with deep research. So this time I'm gonna give it a lot more information. I'm gonna tell it that I wanted to research the impact of remote work on employee productivity, kind of like the last, but I'm gonna say in the last five years. And also the report should include, you can see I give different examples from a productivity analysis, compare data on employees, factors influencing productivity in remote settings, employee well-being, and I even want case studies in here as well. So I was very specific what I want this type of research to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit this one. I'm gonna go again, just to start the research here. All right, let's take a look at this. If it followed my prompt instruction as I go through, we have a little bit of a table in here. I'll keep going through. Here we have the productivity analysis that I asked in the comparative data on employee productivity. I'll keep going through here, taking a look at the information here. Uh, employee well-being was another thing that I asked for. Case studies was another thing that I asked for. Uh, everything is cited just like before as I go through. And what I wanna point out this time, uh, it had 70 research 77 websites. So so do think about your prompt and the detail that you want out of your prompt to get the best possible research. So what do you think? 
Is this something you could see yourself using to do some research, saving yourself a lot of time? I'm impressed with the detail of the reports. And remember like what I showed you, be more direct or detailed in your prompts and you're gonna get more exactly of what you want. Thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.